Hello everybody. It's uh, July 15th, 2023. That's an ACL new grape from Newport Mass from the C. Larry Company. Of Newport Mass. Now there are also um, other places, but this is where it was from. So remember, CL ACLs are worth money. Hello everybody. Uh, this is a little history of this one I'm doing about the beverage company called Cot. Um, I've watched a lot of bottle diggers like Sal and Searcher, Venture Ecology, um, Traveling Bottle Digger. And uh, it was brought to my attention that he wanted to know about Cot. Um, it's right here, one of the earliest bottles. Now, this has got the Owens Glass Company on it. And there's a 30 on the bottom of this one. So if you put it up to the light, you will see the 3 and the 0. But it's a 6499. So I'm kind of iffy on that. But there's the other ones, the 3 0. But I'll tell you why I'm thinking this is a 1930. Because they started in 1923. Now watch the building. Guess what? There's their building. Port Chester, New York. Contents. Let's say, say 12 fluid ounces, product of Cot Beverage Modern Plant. So, <laughs> how modern can 1923 be? So, I usually don't do too much about history lessons on my videos, but actually I do. <laughs> but um, this is a good, a good point because this is what I charted down. Oh, uh, no, sorry, that's not what... Oh, um, wait a minute. Denver, Colorado, Michigan, Tampa. There are that, there are a lot of places. Uh, I'm sorry for the, the notes there, but... They were, they were, there's a lot... There was a few beverage companies out there. Swamp's Cut Mass. Um, Mass River Pick is... They, they have a lot of information, too. Drew and Kathy. Um, they've told me a lot, and... Uh, they found an old carry beverage bottle just recently, ACL. Or was, it said carry, I think. Now, old carry was also, I found out, in Lowell, Massachusetts. I found a nice embossed digging over in a dump in, in, the, in the, one of my dumps in Havel, Mass. And I haven't dug the other dump for years because uh, a fellow there that was a bell systems hat on his head is rather older now. Uh, he was probably about 60 when I first entered this dump in the late 90s, and I would say he's like in his 80s. But he wears a Bell Systems hat, and he's retired, and he said to me to get permission there. Now, before when I went in there, he never had done anything. He let me dig for years, and then one day, about six years ago, before my best friend Nick Katsaris died, which I, I very much missed because he was a historian, and he did a lot, a lot of his historical stuff and great research for me and stuff, and we had a lot of good times, too. He loved insulators, by the way. Um, I was in there digging before that happened, and I dug out a nice old carry emboss, and it was um, not shaped like that, but it had, like, a lady's leg type, kind of like the Coca-Colas that are now, like, the deep pattern. Not like that. That's one. So, sorry. So, yeah, it kind of had a nice Art Deco. And, um... Their other one was in Haverhill, on Route 97 in Haverhill, which goes down toward Methuen in Salem, New Hampshire. Part of the old Route 97 was once a road, of course, and I think it was called North, I was either called Broadway or North Broadway. If you take a left turn off of this other road, the Mohawk Trail was uh, part of the old Eastern Mass Trolley. I'll have to show that to you sometime in another video. We were digging a bottle dump down that way off the old trolley line I followed. And uh, we found an old trolley dump down there. But getting back to the point to this, this is caught nectar beverages. So they, this company made a lot of different bottles. So for your question, that's what my best I can say. And there's a lot of they made ginger ale, they made, you know, nectar, <laughs> probably an orange, maybe like a honey nectar with orange, so, and, um, you see this closet <laughs> with all the neat stuff in front of it, 
Well, there's a broken bottle there. That's a Havel cryer I did, but behind that closet, there's tons of bottles put away. My Havel medicines and all my rare stuff. And we've we put stuff in windows and in the windows and display, and I've got a lot of bottles here. So, Lewis and I say hello to everybody. That company's been around since 1923. I believe it to be a 1930 bottle. I think it's older than 1964. It looks like a patent. So there's a three and a zero, and it had the Owens glass. So, so I watch all these everybody on there, and I always give a thumb like to everyone. You know, I'm um, just you know, there's a lot of good people out there. So I watch all of you people, and I try to when I write and comment on you, I'll, I'll comment you, and I'll write about Lou and I. And um, I, I, I thank you for watching. Give the thumbs up too. And I have over three over three hundred and twenty uh, subscribers now. Three hundred twenty. What to be exact? So, but that's the information I have. And there's a lot of ACLs out there that we can dig that are worth just as much as any eighteen hundreds bottle. You know, a lot of people like the older bottles. So, um, I was watching uh, Bill Ladd. You know, he was doing digging with Howard Howard for a while, buddy. And um, I think that's Dig Fellow. Anyway, he he had some uh, stuff on eBay. And some of the ACLs can bring lots of money, you know. So I Google search a lot, even with my, my cell phone or online. And you can find anything on there. So but that's what I thought about COT. And I wanted also to do this video to, to give some more information about the uh, old Carry Beverage Company. And they had their own different, di many different colors too, by the way. So so that's what it is about that. Yes, I did watch his re video just recently. And thank you for the call out. They're, they're uh, traveling bottle digger. And, uh, so, I will comment on your video. That insulator, the Dominion insulator you left behind is really, really a nice one. It has like, a gold tint to it. So I'm not sure of why it's that color. But some of those insulators that look clear left have a gold tint to them. All right. Awesome bottles are not just uh, 1800s bottles. Bottles could be collected. You know over the time you know so it's all right so you come over here hold on <laughs> I mean this is what some of the stuff I have here I gotta dust off a lot of them I apologize but this just to show a few of my collections over here that Manchester jug behind that steam engine was found in Drake at Mass by a friend of mine named a baldy named Ed that's Lewis when he was younger. This Lowell Mass right there, that's Connor of Lowell Mass. They had bottles too. That was Lewis's, one of his graduation gifts, and that was quite the find for the woman that, that had found it, gave that to him. So, try and see about any more ACLs. I had, they're all put away, but it shows you how much of collections I do, I, we do have. I just got that steam engine in at the Pennsylvania type. Oh, you know. I hope to get some track and get it going. Uh, I got another one up there. And these are all the, that's the hot dog vehicle. <laughs> and the other train with the Red Cross uh, caboose. Train number 999. That's a French's mustard jar that we dug. And um, uh, this display we have. So I have quite a bit of stuff. Can you say I'm a collector? Yes. And Louis takes over, takes, you know, right after me. I've got collections everywhere. All right, so there's that marmalade all cleaned up nice. A rare Neko candy container. We hope to dig at the best stuff ever sometimes. The bugs have been really bad. I think Kevin can actually vouch for me. And a few other people, even Solomon Searcher. And, uh, and we're glad to see him digging again. We dug this, the best stuff ever spot. Kidney cure, smaller one. Yeah, so we really have a lot of stuff. I just put that all up there. That gorilla head, we found that digger, and I saw one other digger find one of these. And I think that that's one of two I know that have been, you know, found in a dump, so. 
but that does have a slight crack on it but these 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 are I don't know what they were if they're a pipe pipe bowls or what they were and, uh, this is amber and this is rare that's a rare inkwell he dug right there that's kind of a rare color for bell ends and then there's that one then there's the amber ink and these amber cheese bro bass seeds are kind of rare too so they're rarer I should say an amber boss medicine all right our poisons <laughs> dull, dull. That's how, that one I glued back together was melted because I liked it all right so going back this way this is the table full of more relics I just got that bubbly now that's our uh, Auburn bring them a Valley Bailey's and then I got more stuff over here that bus all right oh thank you for watching everybody and uh getting back to the point when caught started 1923 I'm not sure how far back old carry one I think they're all after World War one basically so I'll do more research and I thank you guys all everybody for watching and hit that like button and to support Lou and I he's he's sleeping now it's about 12:34 <laughs> p.m. and it's July 15th, 2023, and we hope to go doing the um, digging at the dump close to home someday, which is not too far from our apartment. We've pulled out some nice stuff there, so yeah. I want to say hello to Glass Golfer too. He's he once lived in Manchester and he was digging a lot of dumps around there, and um, that's Chris, I think Chris and, and Jess. Um, last goal for was, is always watching my videos and I went to Hollis to Hampshire flea market and met him there and he was selling a lot of nice bottles so maybe we can all watch his videos glass golfer and maybe do some comments and please watch him he really found some awesome stuff in his past and uh, I have to mention him again I I miss him I, he was awesome person to meet awesome bottle digging finds he did so you know and, and um, I think there's southern Southeast Ohio digger too. It's Danny, Danny Delop, and uh, so he's he's uh, also in Ohio. I'd love to go up to Ohio and dig. I you know and be with the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad where I was up there. But anyway, so that's uh, all I have to hit, say to a few people and uh, and uh, just be safe and go out and dig and keep the bottle bottle uh, hunting there coming and. That's just another bottle right there. Take care, everybody, and God bless, and thank you for watching.